or actually have a track. Just when AVO goes mobile and they hit that call button, you should be able to track in AVO every time that call button is hit. So they could use their normal phone number, but still know they pushed it from the website to call you. Especially yeah. if you're saying everything's going mobile. Yeah, so um, we, so one of the things that Rich talked about was HTML5, you have a call back, call it that. But for any of you that have websites today, if you're thinking about the first step in mobile, there's something called HTML5, which just is a common platform that works uh, uh, across multiple platforms as far as making your um, site look great in mobile. So getting your site first HTML5 optimized before you're building any sort of apps or what have you around that. Uh, you got to do that. Now, I, I actually think we have a great web offering now because we have this, if you guys pull up Avo Mobile, you'll see that it's very Q&A oriented because it's very consumer oriented. And you'll see that right up front we have this HTML5 optimized site that says, hey, ask a question. And uh, getting people into um, the, the funnel in that way. Um, but yes, over time, we're doing a number of things that relate to our question and answers. That one thing that we're um, caught us off guard a little bit is so, you know, everybody knows we get 50,000 contributions in that, um, in our QA every single month. And so, with all of the people that are in there, um, we are figuring out different ways that we can be more responsive to them. So, one of the things we ask people is, would you like to be hired by an attorney? Or excuse me, would you like to uh, be contacted by an attorney in the Q&A? And we actually had 30, something like 34% response rate of people saying, yes, I would like to be contacted by an attorney now. And so we're actually testing some stuff that uh, will uh, close the gap on this, as this gentleman is talking about, both with mobile and online. And when people are asking questions, get them patched into a lawyer right away. Okay, uh, so she's directing me back there, so then I'll come back here. Uh, where are we? All the way in the corner. You spoke about targeting segment populations like on Twitter. So how do you contact someone in that segment population without violating bar rules concerning direct contact with someone you think may need your services? Okay, so I, I think the question was, is under bar rules, is uh, using Twitter and contacting someone a violation of the immediate contact rule, right? Okay, or, or in-person solicitation rule. So the good news is Josh King, our general counsel, is going to have an ethics presentation 